good afternoon all my friends. Farmer Allison here, thinking of you. Hope that you are doing well. Welcome to the garden. Today we are going to be doing a cooking activity using a vegetable that is growing in the garden bed right now. See if you could guess what vegetable we are going to be cooking with today. So here are a couple of clues. The first clue is this vegetable likes to grow underground. Second clue is this vegetable is very colorful and bright. This vegetable is very naturally sweet. I hope you had a minute to think of some vegetables that might be the one that we are going to be cooking with today. Do any of you recognize what vegetable this is? So the vegetable we are gonna be cooking with today is the beet. The beet is a very cool plant because the bottom part of it that we usually eat grows underground and then the stems grow above ground. Beets can come in different colors. There are red, there are gold, there are striped ones. The one that we are gonna be cooking with today is a beautiful red beet. two to three beets, one cup frozen strawberries, one cup frozen cherries, one cup of milk, half of a lemon, one tablespoon of agave. Blender, measuring cup, cutting board, knife, grater. Now that we have all of our ingredients and tools together to make our smoothie, we are gonna start first with our beets. So beets are a really cool vegetable because they do something really magical to your hands when you cook with them. What you do is you're gonna just take one of your beets and you're going to cut off the end, both ends, making sure that it's flat on both sides. And then you're gonna take your grater and you're gonna to start to grate the beets. All right, now that your beets are all grated up on your cutting board, go ahead and look at your hands. They should be a beautiful red or pink color, and that's from all of the natural dye that is in beets. And it will turn your hands a certain color, but don't worry, it'll go away after you wash them a couple times. We're gonna add our first ingredients to our blender. So we're gonna take all of the beets that we have grated up and we're gonna put them in our measuring cup. Two cups of beets. So the next ingredient, which is going to be our strawberries, our red strawberries. So we are gonna add in one cup of red strawberries to our smoothie. Next, we are gonna add in our red cherries to our smoothies. So you're gonna go ahead and pour out one cup and add that to our blender. Now we are gonna add our lemon to our smoothie. So you can take your lemon and go ahead and cut it in half, like this, and then go ahead and take one half of it and you're gonna cut that in half, making it into quarters. I'm going to add half of a lemon into my smoothie today. Time to add some of the milk to our smoothie. So I know some of you out there are sensitive to milk or don't usually eat dairy and that's okay. You can add something like soy milk or coconut milk or you don't even have to add any milk at all. But I'm going to add one cup of milk to my smoothie today and just go ahead and pour that into your blender. Time for our last ingredient, which is agave. And agave is just a type of sweetener. So you could use something like honey, or you don't have to add anything at all because beets and berries are naturally very sweet. A tablespoons worth of agave into my smoothie to add a little bit of sweetness. Now that all of our red ingredients are in our smoothie, let's get ready to actually blend it together. Our smoothie looks nice and blended and ready to taste. Mmm, 
Good job today, my friends. You made a beautiful red smoothie using our delicious beets from the garden. They may have turned your hands red, but something else that's very cool about beets are, other than the fact that they grow underground and that they're naturally very sweet, is that beets are very, very good for your heart. So please enjoy your delicious red beet smoothie and I will see you next time.